you mentioned Laura Deming uh, and, and basically your, your work at Loyal Longevity Fund. You were her chief of staff, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then also I saw at Loyal, you're you know, basically looking for a chief of staff. So let's, let's just talk about kind of that role of like learning on the fly, like you said, learning in public. And then now you're basically having to look for it again. Um, and then we'll get into kind of neuroscience, nano uh, yeah. biology technology, but just talk about kind of your, your learning on the job. And then all of a sudden now you're having to institute it yourself. And then it's like, well, I, I know what I did, but at the same time, uh, there's other people that come in, you have to work with people. So just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so I think, you know, me and Laura's working in a relationship was actually pretty terrible for a while. And I think the big switch that happened is when I stopped caring what she thought, I started caring about the outcome that we were both going for and became almost a foil. Because um, we, we had like very, have very like complementary skill sets, right? Like she's very, uh, she's better at science than I am. She's very intellectual. She's very, uh, you know, dives deep into like certain like competencies. Uh, versus like, I mean, I'm those things too, but I'm much more stronger, like people and organization mm. and momentum mm. and like operational execution and like the doing the thing a lot. Um, and so really kind of when stuff started going really well is when I was just like, you know, here, your category of weaknesses, I'm just gonna like poke you on them until like, that's not a weakness for the organization, which was the goal. Right. right, um, right, right. Because your, your, your weaknesses is to like uh, radiate across the company. I mean, my weaknesses radiate across Loyal now. Um, so I think really a good chief of staff is that. They're just like a, a foil to you. 